Oh, it's Michael. He's he's in a fragile state, so there might be a moment where I might need to pick him up. Okay. <laughs> It's hard to get to know other people. And so I yeah. thought, wouldn't it be neat if I do little um, video interviews and I introduce someone to the group? I totally get to that. It's you're sending out the emails and we're hearing about you, but it would be nice to hear other moms too. So um, I'm a real mom. Uh, my name is Lisa Dell and um, I've got three boys, David, Luke, and Michael. Um, Michael, who is actually right beside me, he is a newborn, he's just two months. Um, Luke is turning two soon and David is like three and a half. Um, and yeah, my husband works in Westmont. We moved here about a year ago, right before COVID changed the world. Um, so we were really excited to get into a new house right before everything changed because that would have been really difficult. Um, but he is a hearing aid specialist um, and uh, I work for a real estate agent in Chicago, but I work from home. Um, I used to commute, um, but now I don't. I love uh, the area. I love the Westmont Darners Grove, full Western suburbs area. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you, whether it's through Mom Sub or not. Um, if our kids end up doing park district activities or something like that, it would just be nice to meet people and hopefully someday get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all looking forward to that. Right. We were going to go with a daycare no matter what. Um, I didn't really pursue looking into like an in-home daycare, like someone putting people in their house, even though I'm, I I was actually raised that way um, and that was great. Um, I We did look into like having a nanny. It would have been great to having um, like family, like, you know, grandma Tuesdays or something like that, but um, that just wasn't available um, to us. We've got, um, my husband's mom lives close, um, but my family lives in Georgia and everyone's just busy. So um, it was kind of like we had to go with um, the daycare option and quickly because we were moving to this new house. So we had to make a decision sort of quickly. Um, the pricing, I mean, it's expensive. <laughs> it's really expensive it, when you have definitely more than one kid too. Um, so yeah, but you just crunch the numbers and if it's, um, something that you want to do, then you go for it. But it's Westmont Yard, and um, that's actually the bigger complex. Um, it's the daycare portion is active childcare at Westmont Yard, and they're amazing. We found them right before we moved to this house, so it was definitely like kind of a no-brainer as far as um, proximity, and, and so we just went with it. But um, I'm so glad we did because they're amazing. It's like this. Um, big sports complex um, and it has events like birthday parties and, and leagues even for like people who are adults so my kids can grow into it as they get older um, and they can stay with that community instead of just being in the child care portion um, <clears throat> and, but it's and it's not like just sports focused um, they're like an actual daycare with crafts and activities and napping and eating and and the staff is amazing they're like a second family so um, yeah, that's where they go, and that's where they are right now. I uh, would love to kind of mix it up uh, when my maternity leave is over and do kind of a part-time thing. I would love to um, maybe take a kid or two out of, you know, during the week or do half days. And again, it will all depend on the numbers, but I'd love to not pay for daycare and, and then I would probably take a pay cut um, as a result because I wouldn't be working full time. But um, I liked working or I liked being around my kids um, more. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, I want to incorporate that if, if I can. But that's a luxury. I know there's so many people that can't do that. So. so in the ideal world, you would take your full time job, go part time, take your kids at daycare full time and go part time with them. Um, because of the cost yep. savings, because of spending more time with them, or all of that, especially now. With Both, all of it, all of it. It definitely was not an option before, just because of my job, I had to commute, and my husband, um, it, he just wasn't possible. Um, but now that it, the world has changed, you know, employers' minds on how this all can work, um, it was, yeah. So I want to do all of the above. Okay. 
And have you had that conversation yet with your employer? How easy or hard do you think that will be? And even with the daycare provider, I don't know how flexible either of them are. Oh, totally. In fact, I'm, we're so lucky that the daycare has those options. Full day, half day, we pay, you know, well, and I have to work this out with them too, but um, my boss, uh, she kind of already knew that might be coming because of my third pregnancy. And I just told her, you know, I don't even know if it's going to be financially workable for my family to do three kids full time in daycare. So just we're planting that seed. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, she won't be surprised when um, I tell her it's going to be kind of a mix. So, but it is what it is. I know, I know a lot of employers, I mean, I work for one woman. And so it's flexible, but I know that other people work for larger companies or they have an HR department. They can't just tell them what they're going to do. Um, you know, so we feel lucky that we can do that. That is fortunate. I just want to build a trust kind of thing right now for, um, and you know, swap stories and stuff like that. That's fine. Um, but, uh, so I'm, I'm looking to meet moms but also primarily just handle the child care like that that would be nice someday um i think i told you though that one of my biggest fears is that i i'm i'm afraid i can't reciprocate so like you know i need the help <laughs> but i i don't know how much i can give back um you know that's why we pay to put our kids in daycare or we have whatever so um that's one of my worries but but i'm excited to see especially if there's like someone literally in like my backyard, you know, someone really close, if they're in a similar situation and more like they're in a jam and needs, you know, one kid is sick and they can't go to school that day. Um, you know, could, could I call them or, or something? I don't know. I just, it's just nice to have more support than just like the two people in your life. Definitely. And, and, and the way I envision it, it just one little aspect is, so let's say you eventually have a, a part-time schedule that's consistent and maybe on Thursdays you list yourself available on mom sub since you're with your own anyways you add another couple to the mix and a little crazy but you know play date a lot of fun and then on Friday maybe you drop yours off you save a little on that child care and it's kind of an exchange like that but it doesn't necessarily have to be the same mom every time that's the idea right. of building a community on mom sub awesome thank you so much I, I'm appreciative of what you're uh, starting here I love it Awesome. Well, great. And I thank you for being like a part of the, you know, an early part of the community, early adopter. <laughs> That's what we need. So, and I hope this helps kind of get other people comfortable sharing their story and we'll kind of build from there. You know, I do, I, I feel like it, it sort of it already exists, but not in a nice, concise one place. Like you, you know, moms already want to connect. They already need help with childcare, but it'd be nice to have like, mom's up you know just like a one place to go <laughs> that's what i'm going for or